Hi guys, this is NikitaNet and what I've got here is my router PC. It's just a computer. Homebrew router system, but there's a little issue with it. I swapped the motherboard and the motherboard I had apparently has a bad battery. Because it does not, well, it or the BIOS does not retain its settings. So it's time to swap out the battery. Now, for that I'm grabbing my uh, trusty little uh, kit with spare parts, basic spare parts. Now you, if you have to do this, will have to most likely go out to the shop and get a battery. So the first thing to do is check which battery you need for your specific motherboard. That's just a fact of life, but I know this motherboard uses the CR let's see 2032 battery and I've got a stock of them so I'll grab that and I was tempted to get the battery from the motherboard I replaced but I thought well that might be funky and I've got a number of spares on hand so I'll use this one so when replacing a battery always take your security and safety precautions disconnect all the cables and on this computer that's here perhaps here but at least it's completely unplugged then open up the case and have a look inside so you see the motherboard and on the motherboard there is a battery right here so I'll reposition the camera and show you that so, as you can see, the battery is contained in a battery holder. As I can see, it is a CR2032, so I have the correct battery in stock to replace it with. But, this battery holder basically just clips open and loosens its grip on the battery. Or at least it should. So, this is always a little bit of a funky proposition and it's partly out so uh, hello there it goes now this is considered chemical waste so dispose of it properly as I'll do after this video right no joking it's bad for the environment now take your new battery un wrap it from its wrapper which is a little bit hard to do because this is hard or tough cardboard so I'll fiddle around and I'll be right back so once you've prepared the battery remember of course with the correct orientation so in this case text up uh, there's a plus here as with uh, the old one so place it in and you might be able to get it in right away or you have to fiddle around a bit that's okay though take your time be careful not to force it but there it is so with the battery installed do remember most likely you'll have to reset up your bio settings that's just a fact of life huh unlikely this bios has settings but with a power outage at least the BIOS with this new battery if nothing else is wrong with this motherboard it will retain settings once again properly so once you're done and are satisfied all is well it's just a matter of closing the case screwing it down and uh, well hopefully You'll be able to reset up your BIOS and then all should be well. Now, the BIOS settings are sometimes finicky and if you're unsure about this entire task, go to your computer professional and let them deal with the battery and reset up of the system BIOS. Because, of course, a wrongly set up BIOS can damage your CPU and even, in effect, burn your house down. Not joking here, computers are dangerous stuff. So, 
I hope you liked this video. Like, dislike at your pleasure, of course. Subscribe to the channel and, uh, well, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.